We are fighting an infodemic as well as an epidemic. How much does that panic and anxiety and unhelpful comments, as you put it, distract from the work of science? Really, globally, uh, we have seen a, an apparent repudiation of science, of experts, of common sense, really. And this wave of populism bordering on nativism that outright rejects science and reason is never helpful as the world now fights this global outbreak. More recently, you've been an integral part of the joint mission over in mainland China. What can you share from that particular mission? I think that the whole process has been very rigorous, very robust, and I think the report that has come out has and will continue to help the global outbreak and to inform what countries may consider doing arising from the new knowledge that has been gained as a result of that particular mission, in large part based on the superb investigation that has been done by the Chinese authorities, not only to hospitals, but also clinics, to wet markets, to different parts of the country, to the epicenter in Wuhan, as well as to uh, the south to the north, really having a lot of input, looking at what the Chinese have done and continue to do, and coming up with a report that has been endorsed by all 25 of us who were members of that commission. Was that experience on the team a very free-flowing exchange? Absolutely, and it, it goes beyond the health sector. So in each of the provinces that we visited, the provincial governor and all the relevant government departments all came and all really pitched in with supplying information, with showing us data and really with providing access for us to ask questions 